This album was about not overthinking. I'm Supernova and I'm here with a bit of veteran, a legend <laughs> in the game, Lauren Vula. This is your third time being shortlisted for a Hyundai Mercury Prize. How does that feel? I'm taking lots of deep breaths mm -hmm. because it feels surreal. Um, I wouldn't have imagined this, um, but I'm, yeah, I'm actually also really pumped this time. Yeah, <laughs> like, and what feels different yeah. because obviously albums are different stages in, in mm -hmm. your life and, and personal times as well and, and the journey you've been on in the, in the industry as a journey of growth. Mm -hmm. So how does this time feel different? I feel old. <laughs> older. <laughs> Not old, older than you were. Yeah. That's natural. Or maybe like Wiser. seasoned, yeah, mm -hmm. or something. But this time it feels like I'm savouring the moment. Sounds like you were having so much fun mm -hmm. yeah. on the album. That's what I get from it, even from, from the artwork and, mm -hmm. and to the way that you're, you know, there's one record, I think it was on Conditional and you've mm -hmm. kind of got like the Jamaican mm -hmm. sort of like dialect on it. Like it sounds, it just sounded like you were just enjoying yourself. Is that what the, the process was like? Yeah, um, I, I feel like I led myself down a creative trap in the beginning. And I just needed to tap into all the parts of me that um, love to dance, I love to clown, um, I enjoy feeling sexy, that's the thing. And the 80s is such a kind of sort of prevalent sound in the music. Why that era? I don't know. It was, a, it was from the gods. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Um, I remember sitting at the piano, really struggling with writer's block and being deeply frustrated with myself. I felt like somehow I didn't have the right to like do this anymore. Um, and I felt like I was repeating the same shapes harmonically. It was just like the same sound as Sing to the Moon, the Dreaming Room. Like, you know, when you put on a jacket or a dress, you change your style aesthetically. You just try it and it's like, is this a vibe? Yeah, don't know why, <laughs> but you know, so it was kind of like that. You do have this amazing knowledge, both as a composer, as a producer, and as a singer songwriter as well. And Pink Noise is the name of the album, but there's also like a, a, a frequency, right? Mm -hmm, that you explored, yeah, what's that? Yeah. I didn't know anything about it, I can't lie. And I went on YouTube and I found this tutorial and nearly fell asleep after two minutes. And then this guy's like, and here we have pink noise. And I was, I paused it. I was like, don't care about the rest of the tutorial. And I was like, that's the name of the record. And was fascinated that this whole pink noise is like, a, there's a community of people that our pink noise listeners. <laughs> like, it was kind um, of biological. I was doing my research after I saw it. I was like, what is this pink noise? Yeah. Um, but it's like biological. And then when you hear it, it's like, oh my God, that sounds yeah. like the womb. I don't yeah, know, it's yeah, weird. Yeah, and there's yeah, femininity yeah. to it. And you 